Damn, you fine, baby. Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked up brick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> you okay, homie? What happened? I bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. I thought you wanted to get this motherfucker. I think we lost his head. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. You see that little piece of shit? It's this back here. Hey! He in one of these fucking houses? Yeah, hey, keep your eye out. He left his car. Check it out. Little pricks up there. Look. Oh shit! Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts. Michael, fine. You got the wrong idea, man. Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> Come on, man, do it to him! Oh, shit! Sorry, now, you wasn't already! Man, fucking drop it! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man! Push the pedal, huh? Are you fucking serious, nigga? Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, 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 I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Green light! Green light, Martin Madrazo, 
Fuck you. Shit, we got some heavies on us, home. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Try. All right, all right. Oh, shit. Pop that dude. Hold you got a book, down. man. Go! Ice that motherfucker! You gotta use that gun? I think you slipped him, man. Okay. We go back to my house and think about this. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but... You were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you, mentally. Mentally? Oh, man, I'm fucking... Oh, shit! I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't bumped like that in years. Oh, yes! Fucking A, Bubba! Man, you sound kind of manny. Whew. Hey. Thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin... Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. the car. You got lucky, buddy. <laughs> Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Really? 
Because I keep hearing the math for like this, so cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad. I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Oh! Yo, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house. Got the damn boat stuck. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and what start all over. God. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when you... Careful! Selfish prick! You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shit! Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties. Oh, man! I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force hey, of habit. Uh, hey, you! We could continue Two bikes. Yeah. Take your pick. This one'll do. Oh, shit, I'm bored, too. Hey, why don't if I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen. How about next week? What's wrong with the sure, I understand. Hey, what's going on, brother? Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being.
<sighs> Looks like Dad. Come on now.
about that thing. That wasn't what we agreed on, and you know that. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. Whoa! 
Ah. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna... I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you... This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Ah, won't run with the pop-ups up. And now we scan. There it goes. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> Bear with me, all right? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the pro... When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. We'll know everything. That's so cool. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! Let me get the door for you. Hold on, hold on. Down! They downed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Damn it! 
payback time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which... <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! You guys are going to the final. Mimes on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen so... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage! Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Let's... Whoa! Tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. Screw you, Michael! The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. You have a 
Archie's Give me your fucking money. Now. Don't shoot. Can you put a suit on, please? You're wasting my time. We're not casing a joint with you looking like that. How did the interview go? What? Oh, yeah. That didn't work out so good. I don't think my air guitar was good enough. It must be awful having to beg for an entry-level job at your age. I'd say you could get a job here, but they literally don't employ anyone over 25. And nobody overweight. It makes me so sad and depressed for my own future. Do you have kids? I got a son and a daughter. Not that much younger than you. Oh. Let me Look know out. if you see something. You're a slave like. shit. 
Boorsville. Those are selling fast. Take your time. down the Elysian Fields Freeway. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. What the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. Shh, shh, shh. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money... The money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. Hi, Mr. Crawford. Analyzing Hamlet to yourself again? Hey, lady, me. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Hey there! We don't need to scope out the street. Go inside! Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live. Shoot away. All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. The keypad, and we're done. Uh, shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need... Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Let's hurry this up, Michael. Hi there! Hey, you! Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? I'm on the roof! Alright, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Uh, oh. What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there.
Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told them to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. No complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes and rub his nose in it. But good. Alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Christ alive! Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. Here are the photos. Yeah, there's... Remember the... A hacker... So how ah, still a hot head. So head, gut, head. Oh, oh yes, huh? good, good.